we are seeing a large drop right now inside of the stock market and cryptocurrency market. That said, I am actually in a long trade on Bitcoin. So in this video, I'm gonna be explaining you the method behind the madness of why I am in a long trade, the targets that I have for this trade, and the stop loss and invalidation, right, in case I'm wrong on this idea. So uh, I'm just gonna ask one thing of you from this video, and that is that you just pay full attention to what I say. I'm not gonna ask for any likes, nothing like that. It's just that you pay attention. I truly believe in my heart I can help you in this video. I can pass on some really great insights and knowledge that I have from trading, and I think I can actually help you become a better trader. So uh, please just pay attention and, and allow me to, uh, just allow me to give you some time here of uh, trying to help you learn to trade. So uh, that would be my goal. I hope I complete it, and I hope it's worthwhile by the end of this. So uh, let's go, 10, 15 minutes of your time to help you a better trader. So as mentioned, I'm in a long trade on Bitcoin. Over the past 24 hours, right, we have seen some uh, pretty extreme volatility. Extreme volatility for current market <laughs> conditions. Uh, we obviously saw this move to the downside before a large rise, okay? Uh, the price action that I'm covering here today will be looking at the next seven to 14 days potentially, right? So the next few weeks uh, of what we're gonna be looking at uh, in the uh, coming future. Uh, before that, as always, I'd like to cover the past 24 hours just so you can understand the context of that drop before the rise. And that really helps you understand what we are looking at next. OK, as well as that, of course, I can offer you some really good uh, educational viewpoints of this chart. So you can integrate that into your trading into the future because <laughs> trading is a series of patterns, right? We get patterns, we build statistics, we, uh, you know, we form lovely technical analysis and that gives us our uh, trade setup. So let me give you some insights to this, right? So um, really simply last month uh, at the end of July, I was telling my team really simply, uh, you know, I am remaining with my bearish bias for Bitcoin. I am still expecting lower, and I am expecting new lows to be made. Uh, this was given to my team in the group. I also mentioned before this in Champions live streams why I had that bearish bias. Well, we can see from mentioning that at the end of July, you know, the start of August, we made new lows, and we formed an SFP here, followed by a SFP of the SFP. Um, I want to explain how I took a losing trade, first of all, and how I managed to then change this uh, and get a winning trade. And to do that, I'm going to have to uh, show you what happened here in the chart. So if we cast our minds back just a little bit, uh, we can see how I was long from this wick, okay, which was a swing failure pattern of the swing failure pattern. Remember on this first move to the downside, that subsequent move up was followed by extremely, in my opinion, bearish order flow. Okay, so we had the move down, we had lots of open interest increases, high positive delta. But I'm saying this was early longs that were gonna get stopped out before the rise. And of course, then we were moved on to form this subsequent move down, which was the SFB of the SFB, okay? And what actually happened on this first rise was exactly the same. <laughs> so fast forwards to yesterday, and we had that first drop and that rise. Look at this, the exact same. Open interest increase, lots of longs. I mean, we're talking about millions of longs opening. So we can expect the same, right? And that is, once again, a swing failure pattern of the swing failure pattern. Okay, so that's the low, it's the SFB. So just as we saw here with that order flow, taking the low rise, we can look again for take the low rise. So where was my losing trade? My losing trade was unfortunately waking up in the morning uh, and just seeing this. I just thought to myself, hey, I, again, this was just all taken on my phone. The first thing I done when I woke up was, I saw, hey, here's a swing failure pattern. I'm going to take the long. So I got my entry around 28,800. Okay. And of course, that got stopped out later in the day. It wasn't too bad because, uh, you know, I took that long around 6 a.m. At 8 a.m., I gave the champions their daily morning update where I explained, you know, we can definitely be expecting <laughs> there's a very high probability that we will form a new low, that I will get stopped out that current long, but it's not a problem. I'm going to enter another long upon the reaction if we get another swing failure pattern. And of course we did get that, right? So uh, from that daily morning update, that's what I was looking at. And what happened next? Well, we got it, right? We got the SFP of the SFP. So just as we were having this prior pattern, move down, swing failure pattern, the low for the rise, boom, 
Well, what happened here? We got our move down, swing failure pattern. All right, and as soon as we get that, you know, we have our long trade entry around the exact same price as I was entered earlier. <laughs> but nevertheless, that first trade invalidated, stopped, took a loss, you know, about 1% loss. And then I entered the long after this swing failure pattern of the SFB. Well, and then this is obviously ended in a, I have hit take profit one. We can see a rise in price of around 4% before hitting $30,000 getting a little bit of a pullback here. That long has hit take profit one, okay? Um, so yeah, that's the insights that I wanted to share first of all of how I originally took a long and that was a losing trade. So why did I lose that first trade in my opinion? And it was simply because I didn't check the order flow. I saw a swing failure pattern from my phone. I thought, hey, here's an SFB. I'm gonna take that long trade. You know, if I had got to my computer, if I had checked the order flow, you know, I would have recognized the bearish signs. I would have recognized the pattern. This is exactly what we saw before. I would have taken that first, I'll just be honest with you. But uh, nevertheless, it, it happens. And um, yeah, that SFB obviously ended in a loss. But, you know, I didn't get scared. I was already planned to get stopped out of that trade, right? And I've thought to myself, as given in the daily morning update, let's prepare ourselves for another SFP of this low, just as we saw in the past. What happened next? It happened. We got the SFP of the SFP again, and that's a long trade setup. Okay, this progresses, move up to the range point of control, absolutely lovely. And here we are, you know, the next day with a lovely rise to the upside coming up to $30,000. It's like I said to my team, of course, now that should be take profit one locked in from the long down there of the SFP of the SFP. Okay, let me see those beautiful money shots. And of course, beautiful money shots we got um, with a lot of people. Uh, managing to get in to their long. I haven't read this bit of a late due to entry, but not of PC, but the wealth of knowledge learned from myself and Severin, who's killing it, by the way, Severin is absolutely killing it, uh, told me to take the trades. Profit taken and now chilling, remaining patient for the next move. Absolutely brilliant. We can see a lot of people. Uh, these are the champion members here, uh, all with similar long trade entries off of that swing failure pattern, off the swing failure pattern. And uh, <laughs> it's just, uh, you know, that's what we're here for at the end of the day. We are not a signals group. Group, but we are giving, you know, pretty good knowledge and insights and setups um, on our daily morning trading updates. That's what we're here for at the end of the day, right, to pass on these insights. And, uh, you know, this is the results that you can get uh, from, you know, paying attention, I suppose. So, uh, yeah, that's from the champion members and that's the current long the say it's at the in. So what's next, right? So if we remove these predictions, I've you know, that, that's the first thing that I wanted to explain. I've, I've tried to talk it through fairly slowly and I'm just gonna summarize for 10 seconds, right? We've previously saw an SFP of the SFP which gave a long trade setup. Using that knowledge and the insights from this, okay, we've started to see a pattern here. Bounce with open interest increase, positive delta, SFP the SFP. Using that and remembering <laughs> and recording statistics, you know, although this didn't fall under that, we still have the same setup given to us once again. Take the low once more, then we take the long. Then we look for the rise. What happened next? Well, the <laughs> exact same as here. Drop, take the low, rise. Here, drop, take the low, then we look for the rise. What happened next? We got the rise. So that then brings us now up to current price action. So now this is where I'm gonna be explaining the next, you know, really the next two weeks of price action for you all. Okay, and so it's very similar to, you know, this is this is where I can see that the champions are definitely learning. We have t take profit one, we remain chill and we remain patient for the next move. And that's what I'm gonna basically say here. And that is I'm gonna remain patient for the next move. So where we are right now is not, I'm not gonna long, I'm not gonna short. In trading, we always have three options, long, short or no trade. I would go for the no trade here. Again, I'm already in the long from the low. Here, take profit one. Uh, from here, I would make remain patient for a, further drop down to around this daily, where we could be looking for these lows to be taken out. And then we gain, we'll check the reaction. This is a reaction, right? There's the low, there's the swing failure pattern. That is a lovely reaction. Okay, that's what we're looking for, the reactions. We see the reaction, then we can take the trade. For example, if we just come down to here, there's no reaction and we move down, well then there's no long trade to be had. And the subsequent, you know, thing that I'd be looking for is a rise to the upside, right? I can be prepared for a long and a rise, a long, a long and a drop. Okay, so I'd, I'd be looking for that to around the daily, or if we do get this rise in price, and again, we could drop before the rise, uh, but if we get this rise in price, then I'd be looking for the reaction off of this daily. Why? Because then I have another SFP swing failure pattern 
trade setup up of this high onto the daily. For me though, this is a big, big, big resistance zone up to 30,500. Big, big, big resistance here. If we flip that, if we manage to get through that bus massive resistance, then I'd be looking for $32,000. But again, always for me, level to level, let's take it a step at a time. We have seen a lovely rise, but so far we've just hit 30,000 psychological and got a bit of a pullback in line with the stock market, which also pulled back. But again, I'm not worried about this right now. This just pulled back to take those lows. OK, just as, you know, if we look at uh, the stock market is pulling back off of this. Let me zoom out to the daily. This is our high back from the um, 29th of March 2022. All we simply done was come up, take that high, got a pullback. And this is range bound, right? DXY was, you know, this was really nice. DXY is obviously rising right now. And this is, uh, this was a pretty nice call. <laughs> We'd been waiting months for this on the DXY. Uh, fake out to hit 100 points and then the rise. So we are seeing DXY rising. Uh, we're not. I wouldn't really say that ES is pulling back, in my opinion, but we're range bounds and Bitcoin ultimately still range bound. So, of course, DXY is an inversely correlated asset. Stock market is, uh, you know, there is a correlation there, but those correlations are weak right now. So I'm just trading each chart for itself. I'm still remaining bullish on the stock market. Still actually foresee rises on the DXY, right? Bitcoin is range bound. And I would just say um, I'm waiting for my next levels to come into play right now. So again, if we put this into actionable trade setups, how do we move this plan to an actionable trade setup? How do we move this plan to an actionable trade setup, right? This was wait for the reaction, wait for the move. Okay, that's wait for the drop. If we don't see an SFP, you wait for lower. Again, if we didn't form the SFP, I could have waited for like $27,000. But I see the reaction take the trade, right? So again, here I'd wait for a reaction at this daily. If I don't get one, I could look for a larger drop. Maybe this drops all the way to 27K again, just as the rise. If I do not get a reaction off of my massive resistance zone, where I do expect a reaction, but if we don't get one, well, that's when I, if we clear this and hold it as support, I'd look up for really 32,000, 32,500 to $33,000. You know, it's a big, 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 big important level right above us. So, um, you know, that's my thought process. That's how I approach trading. Uh, it's a level to level environment. I check the reaction. As I showed you, like the order flow here is, uh, yeah, I, I traded without it and I lost a trade. I traded with and, you know, it gives me probabilities. It gives me confidence and it, it really helps you, you know, have a insight into what's to happen in the future. And of course, those insights uh, can sometimes <laughs> play out very well indeed. Price number one, price number two, price number three. You know, picture one, two, three, from the prediction to the play out. And uh, this isn't for me to show off or anything. It's just to say, you know, this is what's possible if you really dedicate yourself to this game. And with that said, I would actually like to uh, maybe do some therapy for myself and others that are interested in this. And I want to refer to, uh, you know, something that's gone through my life this year. Uh, and that is that... Uh, well, I'll talk about it as we go through this post. And that is uh, that a lot of people um, can see that I absolutely do love to show my trading success. By trading success, I do not refer to showing you, uh, you know, properties, mansions, cars, uh, X, Y, and Z material possession, right? It's not something you're ever going to see me doing. But I do love to talk about my trades. You know, I'm very prideful. I'm very happy when I do good trades. I love to show you my results. I love to show you members' results. You know, this I, I truly am happy about that. But that said, I, I can understand how people can view this as egotistical, showing off. You know, I've had people say this is very arrogant behavior. Uh, you know, I've been called a lot of things, let's just say that. And I, instead of deflecting that, I can uh, approach this as saying, maybe, you know, is this, you know, is this potentially true? So I can definitely understand how people could view that as arrogant or egotistical boasting behavior. Um, I want to say I never want to come across as that, you know, that's not who I am. But, uh, you know, maybe at times I do get too excited or I talk too long about about it potentially, right? Um, so for, for that, I can, you know, absorb that information and accept it and, and try and change that, right? So um, this year, though, outside of those comments, like I've had some pretty crazy experiences and I've gone through a lot, um, which I'm not going to go into in this video, but I'll just tell you this. I've gone through a lot this year, uh, life change, like truly life changing 
uh, experiences and that some of them were not pleasant at all. Let's just say that. Uh, you know, I've had a lot of pain and things, but, um, you know, I, I want to say I've come out of this with new perspectives, uh, just a new mindset. And I feel like I had been reborn in like a new positive way. Um, and of course, alongside that, just the, the, the fact that I feel like I have matured greatly. I, I do owe a lot of this to, uh, you know, finding or having help with religion as well as having my lovely girlfriend who is, you know, uh, just uh, my, my uh, absolute support. Like really, really good to have that person in my life. But, um, you know, moving on from that, I just want to say that I am here at the end of the day. Like, I, I think this is a thing that a lot of people struggle with. And here is Daniel rambling on for five minutes. <laughs> so if you enjoy this, you enjoy it. But I, I feel like I'd like to uh, talk about this. And it's like, I think myself especially went through this where I got to this this stage um, where I was also like, I start to question some things in my life of what of, of what is my purpose right now? And again, I think a lot of people, when they reach a certain success or where money is totally irrelevant, right? I never have to do another thing in my life and I can have generational wealth, right? My, my, me, my kids, my kids, my kids, their kids, right? No one's going to have to worry through the money that I've built up. And that does reach then a stage of like, uh, you know, you, it, it makes you lack a bit of motivation to continue. And so that was really bad. You know, that's a really bad thing to happen. And this is where I had a wonderful support system to, to you know, bring me back up to the place where I am now, where I'm very happy to be. Um, and for me, I just remind myself, I'm, I am here to help, okay? I have been given a, uh, a gift, and that is to be a good trader. My, my gift is being good at trading. And I thank that, right? I'm, I'm very humble and, and uh, you know, I need to do something with this gift, right? My gift is now giving back. It's teaching people and it's helping them change their lives through trading. So I want to always remind myself, I need to be humble, calm, collected. I'm not here to show off. I'm not here to brag. Uh, you know, if you, you see me talking about trades, uh, it's like this guy said, <laughs> which was kind of funny. You know, I look back at some of the old contenders videos where, yeah, I talk for one and a half, two hours, I can understand how some of the people can view that. It's a bit too long, right? What we've done, we've reformatted all the videos, right? Going forward, our videos are now like 15 minutes for the contenders. But upon that, you know, I can view my, my the way I talk and, and try and control it so I'm not perceived as showing off or bragging or uh, arrogant. You know, I'm, I'm not that person. I'd like not to be viewed as that. And so myself, um, you know, I, I need to remind myself and control myself and that the, the best I can, right? So, um, yeah, this for me was just to say, you know, I am here for you. I am here for the champions. I am here to bring you up. Um, you know, I know some people are going to say, hey, you're, uh, I've already seen it within these posts again. I don't understand why people would love to comment uh, negative things online, but <laughs> it's, it's, it's the internet, right? But, you know, people that will say, oh, Daniel, you're just doing this for, for uh, more followers, or you're just doing this for fame, or you're just uh, doing this to get more champions in your group. It's like, no, I, I'm not doing it for any of these reasons, right? I don't need the fame. I don't want more followers. Uh, Chart Champions, of course, is a service. That is a paid service, yes. <laughs> but uh, this is a life, I truly believe it's a life-changing service. Hey, if you don't want to pay for that, then we do these free videos from time to time. And people have also said that, you know, these are helpful. So, you know, um, yeah, I am here to help. I'm giving my time to Chart Champions to teaching you. I've just released the new swing trading video, by the way. Here's me on a swing. <laughs> I've got a new swing trading strategy. So if you want to learn about the new swing trading strategy, that's over on the contender session right now. Uh, we've obviously introduced the live trading streams, the daily live stream updates. That's where I gave this last plan. You know, I'm just reminding myself what I'm here for, and that is to teach people how to trade. It's as simple as that. Uh, so yeah, I would say my final words to end here on my little talk to myself therapy session would be remain motivated. It's very easy. Well, it's relatively easy to lose motivation. Uh, I think for anybody in life, right? If you lose your purpose, then you can lose motivation. And that's where you start going down dark paths. Um, and, ha you know, you do bad things, you receive bad things in return. I won't, I've never done anything illegal or necessarily bad, but, you know, I've not 
done the best that I can be, okay? And so I just always want to remind myself of that, okay? Do good things and good things will come to you. My good thing is right now here on the internet, uh, talking about trading, offering insights, and uh, hopefully, well, I, I think I can see it with my eyes, you know, giving back and, you know, changing people's lives. Uh, on top of that, remain humble. There's no need to brag or show off. I'm not going to be ever showing you material possessions, uh, anything like that. I'm just going to remain humble, down-to-earth guy that you know me as, who I am, right? And I just want to end by saying I have love for everybody in the world. Uh, I have, hate nobody, even the people that have backstabbed me and done some pretty awful things. Hey, bygones be guy, bygones and all that, right? I have no hate for anybody. Uh, I love you all. I wish you all the best. And um, yeah, this is just me with a big open heart saying thank you, everybody, for the support. You know, 99% of people, it's all wonderful comments. Really, really good. So uh, for all of you and everybody else, I just want to say thank you. I want to, uh, I suck at ending videos. That's not changed. Um, but yeah, I just want to say I love you. I want to say I want you to do well in trading. I, 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 I don't want you to have unrealistic expectations. It's not easy. You know, you do have to put in time and effort. But I will tell you this, if you dedicate yourself to trading, if you put in the time and effort, you know, you will have myself and the coaches to help you. We genuinely do want you to succeed. Okay, and if you can do that in the quickest amount of time possible, brilliant. But just remain with those realistic expectations and know that you, just as I have support from my people, you have support from myself and the chart champions team, right? We are here. Let's succeed. Let's crush the charts. And uh, yeah, that's going to be me signing out. Thank you. <laughs> I cannot end videos, so let's just say that. Hope you've enjoyed this one. You want more updates that are trading related. You want the setups. You want the theory. You want the education. That's where you get it. Chartchampions.com. Hope you've enjoyed. That's me signing out. Love you all. And uh, CC Paul, send there love. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>